Um, you know, it's actually kind of funny. I knew that at some point, if I was going to do the Mom Food Chronicles, that I would have to get to absolutely everything my mother ever made for me growing up on a more, you know, consistent level because, you know, you gotta go out for eat or stuff like that. I actually originally had this whole spiel where I would eventually get through practically everything my mom ever made for me, you know, growing up. And I would then end like with saying, there's nothing that my mother ever made that I did not like. And that would have been like the whole, seriously. I would have been like, all paranoid. Okay, fine, there is one more thing I gotta do. Like, I was gonna do like that whole, like, classic spiel or whatever. And I really wanted to do that. But, um, before, that was like before, you know, last night. Before I get into that though, good morning and happy Holy Saturday, everybody. Yes, it is, it's Easter weekend. And, uh, if you guys are wondering, yes, I am wearing a Simpsons shirt. Actually, um, it's, Actually, before I get into the mom food chronicle, I gotta tell this one story. Growing up, you know, obviously, you know, there were things I wasn't allowed to watch, but I would always try and sneak, like, watching The Simpsons. Like, I'd have, like, the volume down low, I had, like, my uh, thumb on the channel change button, so if anyone ever walked in, you wouldn't know it, you wouldn't know anything. Like, I was, like, the, I, like this is this is this is like the this is like the the uh, old days equivalent of like living on the edge, you know, <laughs> or so I thought. Anyway, a couple of years ago, actually it was before I really got married, so I want to say this was like maybe over ten years ago. But my brother and his then girlfriend, now wife went to a Universal Studios and all he got for me was this t-shirt. Yeah, see my brother always knew I was like sneakily watching The Simpsons and he threatened to rat me out, but you know, he never did, so. That, uh, that was, so happy memories. And uh, it does remind me my brother's birthday is Monday, so can't wait to uh, wish him a happy birthday then. And don't worry, I'll be doing, I'll be dedicating my video solely to him. So I, I will remember to do that. You'll have to remember to do that, right? Okay, okay. All right. so uh, now we get into the Mom Food Chronicles. Now, I said yesterday that, believe it or not, there was actually something that my mother did make that I absolutely would not eat. I didn't like it. I didn't like how it looked, I didn't like how it smelled, any of it. And I'll be getting into that smelling part in a second. And it's the sort of thing where, believe it or not, this dish, all you need to do is substitute one or two things and it's completely vegan. Again, making the proper substitutions. So um, if you guys want a quick recap, the hints I gave as to what it is, is um, something that is a very popular item they serve at Panera. I also mentioned that they use one dairy pro product that my mother doesn't use. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. So, if any of you guys were thinking what you are thinking right now, that food that my mother made Pause for effect. Pause for effect. Oh, she called it something different, but it's really called broccoli and Swiss cheese soup. When I said that Panera uses a different dairy, I, what I mean was, see, Panera and um, pretty much any one who makes broccoli and cheese soup, they use cheddar. In fact, more often than not, you'll see it labeled as broccoli and cheddar soup. But one of the reasons why my mother used Swiss really was due to the fact that Swiss is my father's favorite cheese. And I do like Swiss, I do. Although I will admit, you know, you know what, pardon the rhyming, cheddar's better. 
So, you're probably thinking, well, Nick, if you had it last, see, before I get into it, um, years ago, my mother used to make it with uh, chicken broth, but when she wanted to make it for Lent, she switched it up to a vegetable broth. So, again, just use a vegan cheese and that soup is completely vegan. I mean, maybe she uses butter in that. I gotta get the recipe. But anyway, enough of a semantics. So, Nick, you, but you're probably thinking, well, Nick, many times you said you eat vegetables like candy and that would have to include broccoli, right? Well, yes. Yes, I do. And you just said you like Swiss cheese, even though you think cheddar is a better tasting cheese. Again, the answer is yes. And even though you say that French onion soup and noodle and clam chowder are your soups of choice, you definitely acknowledge that other soups are very good. Also, yes. So all of you are probably wondering right now, what about this soup was so incredibly bad that I couldn't eat it? Well, believe it or not, it has to do with the odor. This was a very pungent, strong smelling soup that growing up would encompass the entirety of the house. Like when I was growing up, my room was, my, my, I mean, I grew up in a ranch style home. So my room was about the third closest room to the other end of the house. And the kitchen was farther near the other end around the middle. And I would leave my door closed and the snow was even there. That's how like strong it was. And so Considering that, you know, I'm going to get an opportunity to try it last night at the time. And, you know, it would be a pretty decent way to sort of cap off the final Friday of Lent since I couldn't have any meat to talk about this and share it with you guys, of course. I figured, why not? My mother's broccoli and Swiss cheese soup. Now, you're probably wondering, well, Nick, you had it last night. Tell us how it was. Well, if you want the, like, Cliff Note version, it is infinitely better than I remember. So, right now, I can tell you, spoiler alert, that there is absolutely nothing my mother has ever made for me growing up that I did not like. Although it took me 30 years to like this, but still. Now, everything my mother ever made me growing up, I do like. No ifs, and, no ifs, ands, or, you know, buts about it. So, you're probably wondering, was it really just the smell that was bad? Well, I'm getting to that, because when I had the, Swiss bro the broccoli and Swiss cheese soup last night, there were definitely things and reasons that I remember thinking, okay, I'm starting to remember some of the reasons why I didn't like it when I was growing up. Not that I hate it now, but I remember like what turned me off. For starters, I mean, you would think that because you have broccoli, you know, you actually have tacos. For for all for all intents and purposes, this is you know a sort of pale like yellow looking soup with you know broccoli in it and cheese. We'll get to that in a second. But for whatever reason, the broccoli always looked sort of sort of pale, instead of that bright green you'd be used to seeing. So, you know, but, I mean, that's sort of a, a minor nitpick because that's about as close to a garnish as you're ever going to get for a soup like this. And another thing is, maybe it's due to the fact that, um, uh, well, actually, how about I talk about, believe it or not, what caused the odor, maybe, it had something to do with um, dry evaporated milk, or maybe it was Swiss combined with the dry evaporated milk, I don't know, but that's where the odor originated from. And again, it was a very strong, very powerful odor. But last night, because I was expecting to like have the soup be ready and like, I'd be like, 
Oh, there's the smell again. But no, this was relatively mild for the odor. And I'm thinking, why is that? And I'm like, wait, my mother just made it just now. It's fresh. All the other times she made it, she would like make it and would like sort of like sit there and like ferment all day and stuff. And that's where the odor came from. So if you're gonna have this soup, make sure you get it right when she makes it. If you actually wanna try it, that is. But here's another turn off that may turn off a lot of people. See, Swiss is a very, is a hard cheese. Therefore, it takes a lot of heat to melt. Same with cheddar. But I think cheddar may be a little bit lower than Swiss. I don't, seriously, I actually tried doing some research before this video and seeing if like there's some sort of like chart as to like what cheese melts at what temperature to see which cheese takes less time to melt. I could not find one anywhere. Maybe someone can tell me out of that. I don't know. Anyway, um, see, I say this because the Swiss cheese, I don't know if my mom like got like a giant block of it and like cut up in like cubes or whatever, but it wouldn't melt and therefore emulsify into the soup. So for the most part, you're getting like broth and the other, and the other times you're getting like, for lack of a better word, giant wads of pungent tasting rubber with bits of broccoli in it. At least that's what it looked like now when I was a kid. Now I can definitely say I do like it. It does take a little, I mean, it's a little not the most pleasing thing to look at for sure. And if you are a cheese lover or a broccoli lover of any kind, this is definitely a soup I would recommend that, you know, you try, of course. But if you're not, if you're looking for like a creamy sort of texture that you get out of the Panera, you're not gonna find that here. It will take some, you know, getting used to, but you know, I really, you know what it is for me? This, my mother's broccoli and Swiss cheese soup is the durian of soups. Oh, uh, some of you guys don't know what a durian is. See, durian is a very large fruit that hails from the Southeast Asia. That's notorious for when you cut it open, it has a very pungent aroma. Like some say it's rotten meat, Others say it's feet and onions. It's a very, the point is it's a very strong smell that's very unappealing. But it's supposed to taste really good. In fact, people hail it as the king of fruits in Southeast Asia. And that's what this soup is. This is actually a very pungent, I mean, yes, I had it fresh, it was still mild, but this, the odor was still slightly there, it just wasn't as bad. So this is a very pungent tasting soup, but I can assure you, it's really good. So, I'm sorry it took me 30 years to, to like this soup. You know, now I can definitely say, you know what I can say now? There isn't a thing that my mother makes that I don't like. Or, yeah, I like everything my mother makes. But I will admit, there are some things I could rank over others. How about that? So, where I have this soup again? Oh, to be honest, it's my mom's food, so of course I'd probably have it again. But if I know for a fact there's a better option, I'd probably be more keen on doing that, I guess. So, yes. Um, that, uh, that's it. That was the one food that my mother made for me growing up that I would not eat. So, yeah, I gotta say though, I wonder, I wonder if I should try making the soup myself. Maybe I can find a better way of making it than she can. And no offense, but I probably, no offense to my father, but I probably would take out the Swiss and substitute with cheddar because again, cheddar is better. But um, yeah. I mean, again, if you like broccoli and cheese soup, this is a soup that, sure, go ahead and try. I, I recommend it. You know, just if you're able to find my mom and ask her about it, go right ahead. But yeah, find her. 
I'm not gonna have you people bother my mom. You wanna find her, you can find her yourself. I'm not gonna tell her where she lives. That's, that's, that's wrong. I'm not gonna do that. But, yeah. So, ultimately, I had a lovely evening with my uh, folks, and, uh, I see, I'm glad I can now say I like that soup now, so. Thank you to my mother. Like, favorite, share, hit the subscribe button, follow me on social media platforms, join us on YouTube. I need to be very humble in this video for all of you guys who watched and enjoyed it this morning. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful, holy Saturday. And remember, you guys want to talk with channel, I'm going to be here to lend an ear, and I'll always have your back. Take care, and make good choices. Bye. Oh, and by the way, in case you're wondering, I'm wearing shorts. So, yeah. Rocking the moccasins. Okay, why not? Body copping it, rocking it, body going, get some compliments, passing them bottles, pockets, and someone else has been walking it. Okay, I'll stop now. Bye.